it's always nice to start with a pretty quilt. A pretty spring quilt. I know. I it's... just stepped outside. It was so nice out. It, it is. It felt like this quilt. It was lovely. It spring is definitely coming. So nice to have spring on its way. Hello, hello. Here they come. Kathy Shalda, we were just in Texas near you. Hey, Margie and Mary and Susan and Marilyn and Carla. How are you guys? How's everyone doing today? Let me turn this around. Hello. I'll put the spring quilt behind me. We all need a little spring in our life, don't we? How are you guys doing? I am loving the change of weather. I've got my Birkenstocks on. Back to sandals. That always <laughs> makes me so happy. We have so many new things today. So much. Yes. It was Kathy and Katie from Quilt yes. Beginnings. Come here, Miss Katie. Hello. Come on over here. There we are. Oh, there she <laughs> there is. There we go. Yeah, get us both in here. There it's, we go. It's hard holding, holding our own camera back here. Exactly. We're yeah. very high tech. We're actually You're, not very yeah. high tech. You guys should know that by now. But we love seeing you all and love showing you springtime. Oh, Libs and Nashi. Hey, Lib. <laughs> oh, Libs and Nashi? Yeah, hi from Nashi. Oh, you're hi, so lucky to be with that grandbaby. That's always fun. Hey, Shelly, are you supposed to be at work? I love it when you guys take a little break. Hi, Joan, how are ya? Right. Just put your headphones in. No one can tell. That's right. right, they don't know that you're listening to Facebook Live at Quilt Beginnings in Columbus, Ohio. Yeah. That's pretty fun. So I know a lot of you know that we were on a quilt retreat mm -hmm. And we got a lot of sewing done. Yeah. Um, so we thought we'd kind of start by showing you what we actually accomplished at our quilt retreat, which was super fun. I'm going to turn yeah. it back around. Boop. There we are. So this is the one that I got done. Oh, Katie's getting down low. Well, getting down low. Yes. yes. Oh, we had so much fun yeah. in Texas. We yes, we fun. did. We spent four days at a sewing retreat in a little place called Quilts, Quilts with a Heart. Quilts with a Heart in pretty which is like in the, if you triangulate between Austin, Abilene, and Fort Worth, it's two hours from everywhere. It's in the middle of nowhere. But the good news is we got a lot of sewing done. We did. It's not even a one traffic light town. I mean, there's no traffic light. There's not even a stop sign. It was just, <laughs> and we would go for walks. It's like, okay, here's these six women in matching sweatshirts going for a walk and waving to people on their tractors and having yes. a nice time. Yeah. yeah. So what was cool about it is we actually got to sew, which I don't know about you guys, but I don't have a lot of time to do it anymore. So I'm very happy to have in front of the sewing machine. So this is the sample I made. It's called Gossamer Gardens. It is a kit, and it's up for being um, quilted this week, which is super awesome. Yeah. We have three. Quite a few in queue, actually. I yes, we do. Yes, Katie I was, has. A... I fell behind last week. I was sewing, not quilting, not. I was piecing, <laughs> not working on the long arm. So yes, lots to do. Yes. Okay. Oh, there she is. Oh, yep. hey. <laughs> no. So let's see what's behind this. All right. So let's turn it around. Let's turn it around Can and. You yeah, let's do the big reveal. So All we're right, going to take this quilt our off. Attack, our magic. Yes. So while we were gone, what? Jill was working and she got this one made, which is featuring um, Corey Yoder's collection. I think it's called Spring Blossoms? Spring Brooks. Spring Brooks. Spring Brooks. It is. Katie, do you want to hold oh, up yeah. a jelly roll? I got stuck in the corner. Oh, she's I'm stuck. Stuck. There she the she's, she's stuck. There she is. She's unstuck. Yeah, there's no rehearsing. Yes, so Coriander Quilts by Cori Yoder. This is Cross Winds. So it's featuring her Spring Brook collection. Um, uses a jelly roll. So we've got the lovely jelly roll, all wrapped in cellophane, but lots of beautiful grays and blues, soft yellows and greens. Um, just are. really fresh, really springy. Yes, and it's always so much prettier when you see the quilt That's right. in person. So, so we'll step back again, let you just see the quilt. Uh, yep. Very quick to put together. This one was an easy one. Super um, quick. Just one jelly roll and two and a third yards of fabric for the background. Yep. Um, and then the little cornerstones. Yep. So this one's pretty Strip easy. Goes nice and fast. And Jill did this. Jill works here full time and she still got this done while we were gone. She, uh, she manned the fort yeah. and still sewed. We have one more back there. This is Katie's. <laughs> this, is the, this is actually the prettiest one. I think it's the prettiest one. I thought so too. But yes. It's so pretty. It's also ready for the quilter. So pretty. This one is called Magical Galaxy. 
also a quilt kit. The kit does not ever look as pretty as the real thing. The real no. McCoy is absolutely gorgeous. And I thought also, because the pattern just has it digitally printed, um, and I mean, they did a nice job with the pattern. I saw it, thought it was very appealing, but just in the actual quilt colors, I thought that the blues came through just really clear and beautiful. Yeah, I'm gonna go give you a close up because actually even on this camera, you can see the fabric. So just, it glows. It's kind of got a, a pearlized it essence does. to it. But they're really soft. I mean, they have a nice hand to them. Uh, you really can't feel them, but they sparkle. We don't have the lighting. We need the sun to be shining right on this quilt because it really catches the light yeah. and sparkles. Yeah, it's really, it's fun. It's very, very fun. The fabrics are really pretty. So those are the three new samples that we have to show you. Um, the other thing that we thought we'd do is we have gotten a boatload of new um, fabrics in. So I thought it'd be nice for you guys to see some of the inspiration that I get when I am looking at fabric to decide whether or not I'm gonna purchase it. So um, we have about five or six collections that I wanna show you. And I just thought I'd show you the uh, sampling of the fabrics, not the whole collection. Um, I will tell you that we always get the whole collection when we get them because um, I can't just say one or two, I always say, I'll take them all. So um, this is just a sampling of what we have to offer you, but we have lots of different collections in. So the first one I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna flip my cameras around again, and we're gonna start with this one. It's a very contemporary collection. And when it came in, people were like, why, why did you get this? Because if you look at the individual boats, Katie, you wanna open this one up? Yeah. Let's open one. So this is called Color Theory Digital. Color Theory Digital. And we thought these are such cool bolts, but what the heck do you do with this? I mean, yeah, it's, it's very so contemporary. Cool. Paint swatches. It's digitally printed. So it's just like this funky thing. But the reason why I ordered this, let's show them a couple more. We'll show you a couple more pieces before we go to the patterns. Yes, Here it is in white. So that was a navy background. They also have it in a white background. Here we go. Yeah, Pencil funky. Writing. It's just fun. It's like an art board. It's like a board. total design board. Pretty, so soft. Even the colors have paper bag, smudge, gree, barcode. Um, it's like swatches. It's if you were doodling to put together a quilt um, design book. Yeah. And then this one, I love I, this, this next one. So this one's super cool. It's a one-sided uh, border. So it's got on one side, it looks like the paint is dripping off. Look at that. It's a complete rainbow. Um, this would make an awesome background to a collage quilt. Yes. Would be so awesome. And then show on the back side, Katie, it does it. It's one-sided border. So you can see it, the strips of color go all the way down it, but it has that paint dripping off the end on the other side of yes. it. And then the last piece is this one which is a, um, just a more uniform, just fabric swatches, but they all have these fun little names. So you think, why, what would you do with these things? So they give us, when they come to show me the fabric, they bring along these lookbooks. So here's, it's called, not every manufacturer does it, but some do. So let me just give you this one. It's called Color Theories Lookbook. So there's the fabrics on the front. And then when you open it up, like look how adorable that top is. So basically that's the Bondi top. So you can look at it here. Whoops, the pattern's a little glary. Let me pull it. There you go. The pattern is the Bondi top. And if you look at it in this fabric, isn't that so cute? My flower child days, yes. I love the colors too. Would make a great summer table runner. Agreed. They also did some more things. Look at this little girl's skirt. So how cute is that? You basically take your child's waist. I think you do about one and a half times her waist and then make a little pencil skirt um, and just sew elastic in the waistline and what an adorable little skirt for her. This one is a by Annie's. It's this uh, take a stand tote bag. Look how cute that is. You look like such an artist when you make a bag out of something like that. I think it's really fun. And then Katie fell in love with this quilt. Super simple. Um, it's really giant half square triangles, but it also has pieced triangles in there. So they took that ombre, they took the same fabric that's in the little girl's skirt over here, and they cut it up and pieced these triangles into the, um, the zigzag. It's called Onward and Upward. It's 72 by 96, and we did order that pattern. Um, great for a boy, too. I like it that it's very, it's just kind of really artsy. And then they also took the fabric of the 
um, more regular print. And look at this top for a little girl. You could do something like this little wigs team. Libby, we're expecting you to make this for your granddaughter. Would that not be adorable? But make it in a size three so that we can have it in the shop for a little while. Um, hey, Janet, how are ya? Um, there's another little outfit. That top would be adorable with this fabric. So there's some of the ideas that you get when the, um, when the fabric reps come and bring me um, samples, not only do they show me these samples, they show me these books, and these books are what help me think, wow, there's lots of cute applications for that. Libby says yes to making oh, the sample. Awesome. I expect to see, I just think it's so cute. I think this little top in particular, love, love, love this one. Okay, so next up, oh, this was just two little cute zippered bags. We got really into zippered pouches when we were on this, um, our little vacation getaway. Uh, there was lots of gift giving get a, going on. This is ten uh, nine fifty. Uh, sewing each day keeps the crazy away. Just a fun zippered pouch. Um, makes a great gift for your sewing friends. And here's another one. Life is so beautiful. Those came in, they're new. And I saw them, I was like, oh, those are so cute. Those would have been great gifts to take for friends. Yes. Oh, Libby wants to make the bag too. Ba Libby, you can make it all. We love new samples. Very new. Are very nice. Okay. This next collection is called Ariel. And actually what we thought was so cute, was so cool about this is the quilts that she made with this collection. So I'm just going to show you. This is a, whoops. Um, where are those? Oops, sorry. Let me get to where the fabric itself is. Where did it go? I had it open to it. One moment, please. There it is. Here's the fabric. You're going to hold that yeah. for me. There's the fabric itself. And I was going to bring all the bolts back here, but I thought this picture was so pretty of it that i just show you the picture in the book. Um, but there's the actual fabrics. Very springy, floral, butterflies. Here's some of the, here are some of the actual pieces. Here's a butterfly. So this is Ariel. I love this little... Um, this little oh, rainbow yeah. that's that's monochromatic. I think that's super cute as a companion. And then like an all over floral, just a fun, um, very fun. But what's really cool about it is the patterns. So here, um, Tamara Kate loves to do paper piece patterns. These are 40 by 55, and Pam is going to make a sample. She, um, she loves paper piecing, but I think they're so cool. They're really artsy. There's one. Here's another one, a giant beetle. It's kind of like the fabric collage, um, but it is, uh, it is uh, a little more prescriptive. It's more prescriptive and everyone's results will be the same because it is paper pieced. And uh, Judy, you asked about clothing pattern section in the store. We actually do have a spin, a turnstile that has, I don't know, maybe 30 or 40 um, fabric, uh, not fabric, clothing patterns, and we also have a clothing section. We have some rayons, some knits, um, and some, a little bit of double gauze. We have a few things that you could use, some denim. Um, we definitely have some things that you could um, use for clothing. Here's one more of these patterns with the Ariel collection. This collection is by um, Wyndham Fabrics. And then this is just a fun quilt. Look at the colors, it's so fresh and happy. Again, very springy. This is a kit and we actually got this kit. This is actually applique. It's a quilt kit. We have a couple of these in the store. Um, it is the old fashioned applique. It's not digitized. Uh, I do think it would be super cool though to have someone do it. It's a little uh, labor intensive, but so pretty. So that's what's going on with that. And then just a couple more just to show you how these colors play so happy together. These are all individual patterns that you could get to go with this fabric. Very nice. Very nice. Love this one too. Mm -hmm. This one's really big pieces. It ends up making an 80 by 88 by 88 inch quilt. So if you imagine here it is on a bed, you can see how big the pieces is. So it does have a little bit of curves going on in it, but it would be a very quick quilt to put together because there's not that many blocks. Super fun. Okay, we're going to totally change gears now, and we're going to move over to the perfect day. This is a panel, and this is by um, Wyndham Fabrics as well, and they also had a lookbook. This one's really cute for the cat lovers. All it kinds is so of so playful. These very playful. Look at this guy trouble. hanging. <laughs> they're getting in. They're getting in trouble with quilts and books. So it's a bookie if you have a bookworm in your life or a cat lover. Um, they have fabrics that feature both. So here are the cats that are featured. Just a um, 
a nice all over pattern. So you can see all the different kitties. Uh, this also could appeal to knitters because these are balls of yarn. Everybody needs some balls of yarn. This would make a really cute tote bag too. Uh, make a cute knitting bag. Really enjoy that. And then the last one, this is just, again, samples. We have many more bolts, um, but here's books. And they have black ground and white ground, so it's a really nice combination whether you want it light or dark. Um, I was going to show you the booklet here. So this lookbook... So here's the perfect day. This is another applique quilt. I think it is super adorable. I believe I have a kit or two of that coming. Um, that's not for the light at heart. Um, that one's going to be a piece of work, but it is so, so cute. Love the cats with the books. Um, on a simpler note, this is a hexi quilt that uses the panel, but I love how they set the hexi, set the panel um, in the hexes. And then if you just want something scrappy, you don't even want to really feature the cats. The books, again, really good, fun, colorful. And look at this kitty sitting on it. They make it, they make it so irresistible with the kitties. Um, here's the fabric swatches. You can see the whole collection. And we did get the whole collection in. And this is a cute little table runner. They just put the art on top of it. The table runner does not include the art that's sitting on top. But he is awfully cute. And then here's one more the big one and here is another kitty you gotta have lots of kitties. lots of cats this is a um a free pattern that's downloadable it's little cat faces emits some um churn dash blocks so pretty simple quilt again but lots of fun fabric there's the panel again and then here is with the dark background you can see how the pieces play it's got writing on it that particular one has a lot of writing on it you can kind of see that so that is called A Perfect Day. Here are all the different pieces in the collection. Lots of fun. You guys have to come in and see all this because there's too many things for me to show you on Facebook, and we still don't really have them on our website, so you're just going to have to come shopping. I think that's just the way to do it. Okay. I have a couple more things I wanted to show you. Um, one is that we have the Kimberbell um, Main Street collection. We had kits and the embroidery um, design. Let me just show you. This is Pam's quilt. Here it is turned off, but let me let me turn it on. Oh my gosh. Can you guys see? How, yeah, I'll let you yeah. hold it, Katie. Oh my gosh. Can you see how so cute that is? Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so cute with the red, white, and blue lights. I love that the lights are multicolored. So Pam did this sample. I'm going to just do some close-ups for you guys so you can really appreciate and enjoy it. Isn't that so fun? The embellishment kit actually comes with the lights too. And the embroidery design has you stitch out. It stitches out little eyelet holes for you to poke through the fabric to be able to bring those lights in. Um, it does not have to be a pillow. They call it a bench pillow, but Pam just uses it as a wall hanging in her house. Um, oh, Pat Kenman almost has hers finished. Good job, Pat. So we made kits of it, um, and then we sold all those. We made them again. We sold all those. So we've made them again. So if you're looking for the fabric kit, um, this is what it looks like. It has all the fabrics to make this. And then um, we have the embellishment kit to go with it. Uh, there's a question about is our store limiting the number of people in the store? Um, and we are no longer limiting the number of people in the store. We are now um, allowing the door stays open and you can come and go at will. There's a lot of us getting vaccinated. We've had so many people come in and say, I'm back. Um, so we're very excited about that. Uh, so yeah, you can you can come at your leisure and um, it's been great. It's Still been requiring masks and just requesting, you know, socially distant, all of that. But we do have a big space, um, so we're really excited to have people coming in and, and seeing a lot of people we haven't seen in a while. So. Right. It's really nice it's to have good. the doors open again. We're very happy to have the yes. doors open again, too, believe me. It's been it's been a long journey for all of us, so we are super happy to see you all back. And um, thanks for your patience through this past year. It's been quite a journey, but we we're almost to the end. So um, anyway, keep keep coming. Keep seeing us. All right, I got a few more things to show you.
So um, that was the main street. We have, as I said, the three different pieces, the um, the CD, the fabric kit, and the embellishment and kit. A little sneak peek. We, if you need a little bit of help or haven't done a Kimberbell bench pillow before, we will be having some in-person classes. So more details will be coming. Um, but I know that Pam is excited to teach this one. So yeah. um, if you are a little bit nervous about it, you can definitely get the supplies ahead of time. And we will be having a class coming up. So stay tuned for details. Stay tuned. And you are so welcome for us opening the doors again. I will say that we um, we do have them open, and we do appreciate your patience. There was something else I was going to say about it, but I don't remember what it was. Someone says they can't wait to come in, and we can't wait to see you. Okay. I don't know what that was, but anyway. Okay. So um, the next thing was the uh, Kimberbell also just, delete, just released um, the Red, White, and Boom quilt embellishment kit and their machine embroidery and standard sewing both ways of the um red white and boom bloom, bloom sorry red <laughs> white and bloom um and we will have a sample of this in the now too distant future we did order all the fabrics so we will be making kits so if you know that this is something that you um, are going to want to take on you might want to just uh, give us a call and get yourself on the list every time we make these kits we sell out of them really really quickly. fast um, they have another one coming in June called Happy Haunting or, or no. Uh, uh, Homestead Halloween. Homestead ha Halloween Homes. Ha Hollywood Home. Yeah. So anyway. <laughs> Something they, Halloween. Yeah. There's another Halloween one that is coming um, in June. So you can look forward to that one as well. A uh, couple little samples, just nice spring samples that got made while we were in the last week or so. Whoops. I just took this one apart. <gasps> ah, one moment, please. Can you put that back Maybe. in? Top and bottom. This is not a not for the sorry part sorry either. I just broke it. It's not an interactive display. It's a it's a sit stand and be cute display. Yes, the red, white, and boom is ends up being forty by forty. Um, so that's what you have. All right. Um, so this is a new home sweet home, a new Janet um, Janine Babbage. Janine Babbage, and she does really cute uh, trifold. They're, they're called tri, I mean, they're little tri, three, three frame vignettes. And she has all different seasons and all different themes. Um, and this one is obviously yeah. the bees. Calls it a tabletop display. Yeah, just a little table topper. It can go on a mantle, could go on a sideboard, whatever you'd like. Home sweet home there. Aren't they cute? Love the bumblebee theme. So Pam made those. And then we showed you the kitty cat. I'm going to just pull this down. Thank you. Um, we showed you the kitty cat, uh, the, the party animals last time. But Tina, not Tina, sorry, Tammy, Tammy made this cute pillow and tote bag. And you've turned the back. You can see a coordinated fabric. Super cute. And on the back of her tote bag, she has a different pocket with a different animal the feature. <laughs> the sassy squirrel has made his way. Um, I so. thought this was brilliant. I had no idea what you would do with this fabric. And I just thought that this guy looks so, so fun. good on this mesh tote bag. He really does look really cute. So speaking of bright and colorful, we did get this quilt quilted. And I want to show you that we put the minky on the back of it. I just want you to see how oh beautiful gosh. Minky quilts up. Look the at cuddle, that. Yeah. The cuddle. So yes, that, cuddle. That is black thread on black fabric. So there is no color coming through. That is only texture. Um, and it is I, it so, so soft. So if you have a cuddle quilt that you want to give a child, teenager, or even yourself, um, we do have double wide backings mm -hmm. now in the cuddle. And we have it in a variety of colors. But man, does it quilt. Isn't that amazing? That looks so pretty. It looks great on the back of this um Casada. Casada. Yes. The Casada quilt. Those fabrics are, are relatively new too. We showed you those another time. The last fabric collection we have is um, the new Liberty Lane. And this is a Wilmington collection. So let me just pull these over for you. Um, just getting ready summer. for the summertime. Yeah. The summertime and a nice... We have a lot of people coming in and asking us for patriotic fabric. And we just haven't had a lot um, in the last little bit. So I liked this collection. Really saturated colors, strong designs. I love this one. This is the essence of July 4th. Just so, such a good July 4th. It really captures fireworks beautifully. We do have layer cakes of it. Um, so here's the layer cakes, which is 40 different 10 inch squares. There is a simple quilt pattern, and this is duller than what the fabric shows. Um, there is a panel that has the America the Beautiful uh, Liberty panel. There's a panel quilt available, but then there's also some really fun 
project sheets, and I just thought I'd show you these as well. So tote bags and pillows. I loved this quilt. Um, this is a, a downloadable pattern from um, Wilmington Prints, so love the movement in that. I also really liked this one, a good red, white, and blue quilt, which is some, and then a very easy table runner, but again, nice and seasonal, something that's fun. So these are the kinds of things uh, that the vendors show to me that help me get excited about the fabric and um, makes me want to buy the fabric to give to you. So there's so much on the market. There's yeah. so many things to choose from. But I come just, on and see us. <laughs> yeah, come see us. There's lots yeah. of new stuff here. And um, next week, we're going to be going over what our class offerings are for the next couple of weeks. Yes. Or next couple, next months, couple months. Next yep. couple months. We are definitely going to have some in-person classes again. We're very mm -hmm. excited to get that going again. Um, we're still limiting the class size to 12. Everyone will still have their own table. We're still requiring masks for the time being. Um, can't wait until that requirement can be lifted. But we're just still keeping everybody safe. And um, anyway, we're very happy to see you guys again keep coming and seeing us and um yeah we'll, we'll see, see you next, next time. week <laughs> all right have a great day bye